the Five Growth project pursues the technical and business validation of 5G technologies from a vertical's point of view, following a field trial-based approach on vertical sites located in Italy, Portugal and Spain. The project empowers vertical industries such as Industry 4.0, Transportation and Energy with an AI-driven, automated and shareable 5G end-to-end -end solution that will allow these industries to simultaneously achieve their respective key performance targets. The project will provide an infrastructure that supports the current connectivity needs and enables new innovative digital use cases and facilitates the creation of cross-industry partnerships. Manufacturers are seeking efficiencies in production combined with the ability to deliver a broader mix of customised products to their final customers. Wireless connectivity is more than ever becoming a necessity to connect an increasing number of objects in a manufacturing plant. 5G is emerging as a unified network platform to support almost all the manufacturing needs. In the Italian site of 5 Grow, Kumal, Ericsson and Team are deploying a joint pilot to experiment key enablers for the factory of the future. Low latency communications on shared networks to reduce the total cost of ownership. Transport aware slicing to concurrently serve industrial use cases. New optical transport to guarantee low latency and traffic isolation. Orchestration for the automation of radio, transport and cloud resources. Five Growth has identified three use cases that are based on the three 5G profiles defined in the ITU and 3GPP standards. Specifically, the first use case, named Digital Twin Apps, leverages on the ultra-reliable Low Latency Communications URLLC, to ensure a stable and low delay in the connection of a real robot with its digital replica. The second use case, named Telemetry and Monitoring Apps, leverages on the Massive Machine Type Communications MMTC, to connect multiple sensors with a remote digital platform that continuously supervises the factory. The third use case, named Remote Support and Digital Tutorial, is based on the Enhanced Mobile Broadband EMBB, to connect an infield technician with a remote support centre. The Digital Twin is a digital replica of a manufacturing line used to facilitate the optimization of complex processes and production scenarios. In the first use case deployed in 5 Growth, the robot status is sent in real time from the robot controllers to a computer that builds the digital replica and feeds augmented reality glasses used by a technician who is in front of the real robot. 5G ensures a latency lower than 15 milliseconds to have a synchronized alignment of the robot with its virtual replica. The telemetry and monitoring use case allows reducing the stops in the manufacturing process by enforcing predictive and preventative maintenance. 5G connects many sensors to a software platform located in the central office of the network operator, which collects and analyzes data and sends alerts to technicians. Connecting a large amount of sensors was not possible with wired technologies. 5G provides a massive machine type transmission to connect up to five devices per square meter. The Remote Support and Digital Tutorial use case aims at reducing the mean time to repair in case of a failure in the plant. Local technicians can use a tablet or augmented reality device to interact with a remote expert who has the full picture or the possible workarounds. As an alternative, the technician can access to step-by-step -step digital tutorials. 5G supports high-quality streaming of video required for the application. The three use cases are experimented on a novel network architecture based on two qualifying components, a low-latency transport infrastructure and the 5Growth platform for orchestration and slicing support. 
In a first step, the Comal pilot uses a standalone, non-public network, NPN, operating on the team spectrum, which guarantees industry-grade performances and provides a secure connectivity. To further reduce the total cost of ownership and enable new use cases on a geographical area. In the second step, the network will evolve to a shared network thanks to the use of an innovative transport with low and controlled latency. On the top left corner of the figure, it's illustrated the 5G connected Comau site with robots, machineries, sensors, and devices. On the right side, it's illustrated the central office of the network operator. 5G radio is provided with a non-standalone architecture where the 5G radio access network operates in combination with a 4G core network. The transport network, which is a WDM optical ring of 15 kilometers, connects the antenna with the baseband unit in the centralized radio access network configuration. The orchestrator oversees the automation of radio, transport and cloud resources to set up and operate each vertical service. The orchestrator also handles the 5G network slicing, extended by Fibro to be transport aware based on a 3G PP standard. Preliminary tests demonstrate that the capabilities of 5G, if supported by the appropriate transport layer, can achieve an end-to-end -end stable latency of about 3.5 milliseconds.